balance being spread. It's like warm butter across the bread. Smooth, I know you like that. Flow with the grain and don't fight that. You want right to love, you found the right match. With Marty McFly, they on the right track. Yeah, gotta dig the dirt to plant the seed. Spread roots till you sprout like a tree. Danny Jones, see the one you wanna see. Danny Jones live, this is what you wanna be. It's Danny Jones live, Danny Jones live. Hey, 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 welcome to Donnie Jones Live with me, Donnie Jones, and that guy. That guy, Marty, Marty McFly. Yes. It's a beautiful day, too, in the neighborhood. How you do? It is a do? beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Let me tell you something. Okay. I am loving me some ATL weather right I, you now. You know, right now, I, man, you're going to agree because I'm yes. loving it, too. I'm I, saying just, I am loving it. It's not too hot. It's not too yeah. cold. I'm saying a little overcast every yeah. once in a while. But right now, I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm and I'm it. not going to complain about the overcast either mm -hmm. because as long as I can get my work done, right. I'm happy. And for those of you that don't know what my work is, uh -oh. I own a tree care company here in the Atlanta area. Yes. Um, the name of the company is Don's Tree Service. Yep. And if you need any tree work, you call us at 7 seven seven zero four one three eight seven three three yep. and it, don's tree service is also a proud sponsor of this show it is and one of the one of the only only tree care companies that will take payments on railway that is they, not they, they will do, you know they will do payment plans <laughs> what I'm saying they, they work with Why the Why you put that they out there? Work with the people. Okay, I do work with the people. I do, right, I do. Right. But don't be, because you what? know what kind of calls I'm going to get now. You want the calls, right? I do want the calls. Okay, Let's just right. say, so, if you got a situation you, and you, you got to work tree, it out, should and we and we, we'll work, work it out. Okay. Out, right? And we ain't gonna say what on sure. air, but you know each each situation is different. But yeah, we try to work with people. But that is fun, good. But a fun fact about trees before we get into it, because you know oh, I'm trying to. Okay, okay, trying talk, to talk, talk to us. Fun trees. fact about a tree. fun fact about trees. Did you know that trees actually help to reduce stress? For who? Did, oh God! Ooh, with that, neighboring trees. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> it reduced stress. For example, like if you go out and take a walk uh -huh. in an area, like you can walk in the city, right? Where, right. where you know, may not have a lot of trees or whatever. It's going to feel different than a walk in the forest or something. Or, or walking Why are you walking park? on concrete versus yeah. walking on dirt? I, I, can, I can, you ain't, did you look that one up? No, seriously, there's been research that says that walking amongst the forest or walking amongst trees, it didn't have to be a forest, walking in nature, which okay. nature involves trees, it actually right. helps to lower your stress level and it can also help to reduce your blood pressure. And they say that people that take long walks or walk amongst trees are actually kinder people. So what they, that's a little well, fun fact about don't, trees. But I can believe that because depending on what you're doing, when yeah. you're walking in the forest by yourself yeah. you and around you all yourself. the trees yeah. and y'all just... Okay. On that I can see note. you walking out being a lot chiller, a lot calmer and cooler and just be like, yeah, man, I'm I got all this good. Yeah. Did, we, did you see that tree? Wow, what does that tree mean to you? Uh uh. What is it okay. saying to that, you? That 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 is that. that <laughs> no, but actually, I've I know heard what that. You're saying, no. I, I I can believe that because um, mm -hmm. trees, you know, the oxygen and everything with the yeah. trees, and you know, the fresh air. I can, yeah. I can believe that. Yeah. You know, I can believe that it 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 can inspire you some. Yeah, it makes you feel everything. makes you feel more relaxed and stuff like that. Now, I don't do the things that you do when you're walking with the trees, but with, we still with, get both get the with, same results. So I love that. So, no, I'm yeah. just talking about inhaling the the atmosphere and the to forest and stuff because I'm saying it does do good things for you even your pores and your yeah. oxygen you know it, it yeah. does distress you anyway I feel good though man I feel like <laughs> I don't feel like singing what's my jam now you oh. know what I've been singing a lot lately what's that I'm gonna leave the door open uh, leave the door yeah, open yeah yeah uh, uh, Donnie Bruno Mars and um, yeah, it, it, you know it, it, who, who so, sings so, that who sings that you said Bruno so Sonic so Sonic what, what's the name of this Bru Bruno Mars so Sonic yeah, so Sonic. Well, you so, know what? Why Sonic. don't you? Why don't you let them just sing that? Oh, you got a joke. No, no, I'm just joke. saying. You know, certain things. If they, if they open up the door, some things you might need to close. You know, that might need to be your singing career or something. Silk that can, Sonic. That's what it is. Silk, it's Silk Sonic. But it has been playing in my head. I'm a leave. Uh, uh, da Donnie, 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 Donnie. What? People are riding their cars with their kids. You don't need to uh, just just close that. You know, in fact, what? that's something I want to talk about today too. You know, some people got dreams and stuff that they need to close the door on. 
Ooh. You know, and, and actually they got... Wait a minute, are like, you trying to make something make sense so I could stop I, well, singing? So well, you're just well, trying to change the subject so I well, can stop singing? I, I, I'm just trying to highlight maybe a okay. subject that we <laughs> you know, can utilize. And, and if you if you take heed to it, then you, maybe you would stop okay, singing. Okay, well, I'm going to stop singing, but, but no, it sounds but like no, you're no, on the no, song. No, no, but see, it's certain people, you know, even the other week I was at some friend's house, um, actually a production house. Okay. And it's some guys in there that are still trying to break out in the rap game. Mm. But they like forty five or forty. Well, I was gonna say hip hop is still huge, so it ain't yeah, going no, nowhere. No, 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 no. Hip hop itself is huge, but some yeah. of these people that's trying to get into it has passed their prime, oh. has passed that time, and it's like it, it might be time for them to close the door on that dream. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying certain yeah. things, and even not, even not even just on old dreams, but yeah. sometimes I believe people need to close the door. On yeah. old relationships. Yes. You know. See, now that what I would go with you on that. You need to close the door on certain relationships. Now, the only reason why I might give you a little bit of pushback on closing the door on certain dreams is uh -huh. because think about people that have had a dream to be an artist. Like the, one of the most renowned artists is a lady that was in her 80s and she started you know, doing art and became an artist. Yeah, that's that's you know, that, that, that's that's my, that's one in a million. No, you it's, gotta you gotta. Well, how many people, other eighty year old women? I don't do you know, know, but if they thought that there was an opportunity and they could embrace, you know, doing whatever it is they need to do to make that happen, well, let me I think ask you that's this. good. Do you think that she is more famous because she's eighty, or she's more famous no, because of her work? No, she's an incredible artist. Okay. She's an incredible artist. I can believe that. I can I can believe that you don't want to stop on certain dreams, right. but. The forty-five year old I'm, rap. I'm, yeah, it's like this. I'm five eight. Yeah. And and a half. You know, I, yeah. I'm gonna throw that half in there. Throw that half in there. I but my you. dreams of being an NBA basketball star. That might be it, out it, the door. Yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of or yeah. or NFL. You know, quarterback that that's might true. be out the door. I'm glad you said this. Certain things I need to just. There are so, okay. I can go with you just now. Now I'm it, you got me let back. Let it go. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm right back there with you. Cause okay. Because I, I do believe that you. Because we talk about it on the show. Uh -huh. We talk about how, you know, no matter what you want to do, you know, you set your mind to it and right. stuff like that. But there also has to be a part of you. Some, yes, yeah, that some realness. That realness. For example, I used to, I, don't laugh, but I used to love gymnastics. Uh -huh. I, I cannot turn flips worth a, you right. know what uh -huh. I mean? Right. And my parents never put me in gymnastics. Uh -huh. I didn't live in a community that was, you know, well, yeah. whatever. Supported it. Supported yeah. it. So even though I loved watching the Olympics and Mary Lou Retton and this is the 84 Olympics, I was uh -huh. like, I'm going to do that. Well, what if my dream is to be in the Olympics right now? Well, <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to be a 64 year no, old Olympian. No, no. But wait a minute. I just thought about something. This is all coming to me. Maybe it's not too late. Yes, it is. Not. I might, I might no, be no, too it, it, old no. to be a sixteen-year-old no, Olympian. No, 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 but maybe, no, no. no. I, I'm saying even if Donnie, it. Donnie, I don't think you could compete in the Special Olympics with that. Just, just, I think that is. <laughs> think that's, what, that, that wasn't a joke. I feel like I'm going the, somewhere. Well, you might not be going to the right place. You might be going somewhere, but that might not be the right location. I'm just saying. Certain things is like you can get the um, yeah. What is like the 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 I love you kind of trophy, just yeah. like the appreciation trophy. Yeah. You can go out there and do, but you ain't really competing. You don't think I'm gonna get no. to the Olympics? No, in no, gymnastics. no. I'm, no, I'm saying this is. I think it's the same opportunity that like the if senior you did gym, they years, have senior gymnastics. If you did ten years in prison. I don't think that you being a Supreme Court justice is gonna be in Ooh. your future. You know, so it's like you might want to go to law school, and all, but I don't think. You're right, because you yeah. have you can't have any felonies. Right, you, right, yeah. right. Now understand this: I'm not saying cut off on your dreams. Right, you know, not, I'm not saying we that. believe. Like on this show, we talk, we like to talk about achieving your dreams. Right. But going back to just to stay on theme, real quick, there are certain doors you need to close. But whenever I think of doors that uh -huh. need to be closed, instead of necessarily dreams, because I try to be sensitive about the fact that you know we do push out there achieve your dreams go for it but in relationships there are certain relationships and certain situations yeah that you keep going back to that situation yeah and it's time to close the door on that situation or close the door on that relationship and i think a lot right. of times people are re reluctant to do that like especially like when you get married there's a lot of relationships you need to close you know a lot of those old doors you need to close i'm saying well, if you decide they, they, to get they, married, you automatically doing well, that. Well, right? now a lot of people ain't doing it. You know, I'm just saying they they will say, well, you know, me and Keisha was always a good good friend, right? And I'm gonna just keep that friendship. 
going the same way that it's mm. been going and we just you know still hook up every once in a while and you know certain things that i just say no nah, i still have friends of mine that that i knew before i got married now yeah. i mean you know they're just friends yeah certain friends you, you i think most people know what i'm talking about certain friends are in those kind of categories that you you talking about friends with benefits yeah or, okay yeah, well no i don't got none of them kind of friends. that's what i'm saying no. that's that's no. what i'm classifying you know you're you got to be specific with me you should know that by now well sometimes i'm saying some of the people that you might be with right now would just they just wait for that opportunity that one day of the yep yeah, that one day that things might slip up with you and your husband like well <laughs> you want to come over and talk about it you know, and it's, uh, you go over there like, yes, I'm just saying, you know, why, why, why are the candles lit in your house? Okay. okay. I just want to sit and cry on your shoulder. My uh, husband listens uh, to the show, so I got to be careful on this, but I got to uh -oh. tell you something that happened, uh -huh. right? So you know how you're friends with people and you've been friends for a long time right. and then you lose contact with them. Uh -huh. So I was friends with this guy for like the longest time. I've never thought anything about him. I don't see him that way. I'm not attracted to him or anything, right? Right. So I ran into this dude ooh, about three weeks ago. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. And so we get to talking and everything. And he's like, uh, how you been? You know, because he saw, you know, on Facebook, right. caught up with each other on Facebook and text back for whatever. And he's like, so you still married, man? I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. still happily married. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's like, oh, man. OK. OK. <laughs> and I was like, what? He goes, you know, I'm just wait I'm waiting my turn. I was like, dude, uh -huh. I was like, yep. you got to be kidding. Uh, I've known this guy like over 20 years. I mean, yep. we don't see each other every day, but I mean, uh -huh. like we haven't talked in probably saying, uh, eight, nine years. Hey, Donnie. Yeah. How's everything going? Like who holds out hope for that long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I didn't even know he saw me that way. I w so now it makes me rethink when we hung out back in the day. Oh, like, you know, we're just uh, cool. We're just, uh, we just uh, homies, uh -huh. you know? Uh-huh. No. Especially back in the day. Yep, y'all just homies. Y'all just hang out and go out. And he just happy to be in your presence. And he's like, uh, you still married, huh? All right. That's that's cool. I told you I'm slow. I did oh, not oh, think that. Yeah. No, get huh. this. I didn't even know my husband liked me that way. And he was your and, roommate, and was, right? No, <laughs> yeah, no clue. You I, did, a, I just thought he was really towel, nice. Oh, Donnie, you need the extra dry towel. That's, this guy was like, he, was, he wasn't my, uh, the other guy. He was just always nice. He was just uh, always there. And, you know, oh, you want to go out to, yeah, let's go grab something. Uh, you know, you, 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 you don't have to pay. No, no, I want to pay. I was like, but you don't have to. Oh, no, it. Oh, yeah, he was paying for you. Did meal. not even think that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know what? Where's that brings here? up a good question. I'm going to talk on the other side because I got a, a, a senior that's going through that too. But anyway, yeah. look, you're listening to Donnie Jones Live. I am uh, Marty McFly, and we're hitting, hanging out with the arborist, beautiful Donnie, Donnie Jones. Jones. Right. And Thank don't you. forget, Donnie Don's Tree Service is sponsoring this program. Yeah. Get him up. We're right back. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent will start to fall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service! If it's looking kinda weak and it's looking kinda bleak, who a tree specialist call? Don Tree Service! If the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service! Hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. 
Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous, on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Welcome back. Welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am that guy, Marty McFly. You know what, Donnie? We, we were just talking about something that's interesting. Yeah. That's um actually, I, and I'm glad she doesn't listen to this program, right. but <clears throat> I have an elderly lady in my life yeah. that, that I talk to every once in a while. Yeah. You know what? She might listen to this and you don't know she I, listens. I, I doubt it because she in that age is still trying to figure out how to send texts and stuff. So I know she's not. I'm, I'm saying this person. Okay, this person you know ain't right, listening. I, I okay. know this one, yeah. Okay. But anyway, um, nice, sweet 80-year-old lady who is, um, she has a friend that is coming to the house. And he, you know, around her same age, yeah. he would help, you know, sweep up her yard and, um, you know, cut the hedges and yep. cut the grass. And she's like, I don't know if he's trying to get something. Well, he won't. But and I'm like, well, 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 well. You could just be being neighborly, just trying to be nice, you yeah. Know? And then I, f- it's funny how you can tell when people have a little crush Aww. because he's like, but you know, he he ain't got a whole lot of time because he got to go always pick up his grandkids with his great grandkids, and they need to, uh, 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 he needs his own time now, you know. And these little extra uh, grandma want a little time. And I'm like, uh, grandma want a little and, time. And, 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 but what's funny is, she doesn't know how to make the first move. And I'm apparently uh, under the impression that he really doesn't either yeah, yeah. because they're both in that age where it's like, I don't, you know, and, and men are, are even yeah. depending, it doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want rejection either. You know? I have a question about that. And you're in the 80s and you might want to say, you want to go get some coffee. Yeah. Well, you can always start with coffee. Right, though. But they might, what you trying to get? Uh, what, what, yeah. What, so he could still open himself up to rejection. Yeah. Yeah. But, but what do you think about women making the first move? Cause I've heard, I've heard that, but I've always been real old school. Like it's always the guy that should make the first move. Uh, you, 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 you won't get got. That's not true. I'm saying not all the My time. My husband not was a, very shy and people kept telling me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Y'all were roommates. It don't take a whole lot of confidence to, you know, you want to make dinner, share dinner tonight. <laughs> You know, if not, okay, well, I'm going to cook in the kitchen and you can have some if you... I mean, saying, th- there was a no, lot of that. <laughs> right, there's there's not a, a sense of letdown, but I'm saying to go up to someone cold turkey and say, hey, you know, yeah. you're beautiful, you know, can me and you go out or something like that? Can I, you know, even what is that first line? But doesn't it's, it take it away you... from that hunter thing that men are supposed to have, like, not all, supposed not to? All the, not all the time. You know what I'm saying? So tell me, do you prefer to pursue? Well, you're married, but I'm just well, saying. Well, yeah, I, in, in, when I wasn't married, um, it kind of worked both ways. 
you know, because generally, I, if you want something, you'll go get it. But if the girl had to speak to you, that means you weren't interested in her. Not necessarily. You know, I might not have saw you at that moment, or I might not have known what to say. And at the same time, somebody has to break the ice. And if you know what you want, sometimes I'm saying you might make yourself more available to be spoken to. You know, or okay. be able to create. I guess I better give convert. my girls some different advice. Yeah, give them some different advice. I told them, yeah. don't be talking. Don't you don't make the first move. You uh, let the guy. Uh, make the, I still think you that, better you throw yeah. some paper over there and pick it up. Just bend yeah, over see, and pick it up. We gotta do. We do subtle stuff. Right, right, right. You, know? you, you, you Just bend over, and pick it up, and say, face. "Oh, hey, hey, was you looking at me?" You know, and then right, and then we start the whole conversation. Now, now, Grandma, don't you do that? You know, you she grandma go, might not get back she, up. She's she she gonna go in the yard and try to, you know, throw something on the ground and but, you know, at her least little. There's a little something there. You know, it ain't like you dealing with a situation where there, you know, there's nothing. There's nothing there. I, you know I, what I'm I, saying? I, my heart warms with like old school or older yeah. couples that just, yeah. you know, trying to learn how to date again. Yeah. And you know, well, if you are an older couple and you're trying to date again, call us at. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no just kidding. we ain't got rotary phones at them. No. But, anyway, but um. <laughs> Anyway, what else is going on with you, Donnie? Well, you know, the other thing that we talk about, and it always some, not always, but a lot of times it comes back to stuff that we're living. Mm -hmm. And I was having a conversation with somebody and it was, I'm going to try to be sensitive, but basically I kept asking for something, uh -huh. you know, asking them to produce certain stuff and, and do wait, certain wait, things. Wait, 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 this going to be personal against me? No, not, pro not production. I mean, oh, oh, producer oh, result. So you're going to do this on air? No, 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 no. Producer yeah. result. And I had to realize th this is some, some other business stuff, but I had to realize that sometimes you can keep asking people for something, but if it's not in them, you're never uh, going to get the result that you want. Oh, you know? yeah. So it's kind of oh, like yeah. going back to what my grandma used to say that, that you cannot get blood from a turnip. And I think a lot of times people are, you know, we talk about persistence. We talk about right. no matter what, don't give up. But if you're, you can still stay on your goal, but if you're dealing with a particular person uh -huh. or a particular situation and it's like you keep trying, you keep trying, keep trying, and that person or that situation isn't changing, then it might be a situation where if you're, you're trying to get blood from a turnip. Basically, if I'm trying to go north, but then I start heading south, uh -huh. I'm never going to get where I want because I'm going in the wrong direction. Well, you know what, Donnie? Yeah. This just really hit me. What hit you? You can't get blood from a turnip, but you can use that turnip to get some blood if you throw it at somebody hard enough. It can, it, I'm saying you, you can you still have some utilization in that turnip, in that person. You know, if you if you take them and use them a different kind of way, you know, you might not get blood from that particular turnip, but you can oh use God. that turnip to, to get some blood out of something else. I'm just saying, really? you know, if you if you oh learn how to gosh. utilize that 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 employee yeah. or whoever that is, yeah. say, you know what? This might not be your strong suit. Yeah. But how yeah. can I use what you do? Yeah. To get something from somewhere else. Well, that also comes back to being a good leader. Right. So yeah. if you're a leader in a situation and you have people that you work with or you 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 know right or you're a parent uh -huh. and you're trying to get a certain result, it might be a different way that you need to approach it in order to get the result. Right. Or you know, you know what? I would say, you know, and I'm just thinking, I don't know how really the situation that, that, that at, what's at hand. I'm trying to be sensitive. But I'm thinking of, um, if you took, like, just say, for instance, if you had an employee that wasn't performing, mm -hmm. you know, in, I, I don't know, with with getting uh, uh, grass sales, you know, cutting grass or whatever. Right. You're not getting them. Well, we do trees. Well, okay, well, if you got a manager that's not getting tree work done. Right. What if you put them in in charge of people, some other people. Right. To see if they can motivate other people to do what they can't do in a sense. But, you know, in a sense, utilizing them as the bad guy. I don't know if that makes sense at all. I, I don't understand. Okay, I had a, I had a, and I can say this because I got fired a long time ago, so I don't oh care about them now. <laughs> but I had a general manager that would make the manager make me do things that I didn't like doing. Okay. You know? And I would be yeah. upset at my, you know, supervisor manager, yeah. you know, and I was friends with the general manager. Okay. Okay. I didn't like the supervisor. Okay. Okay. But everything the supervisor was trying to make me do was coming from the man, I mean, the, the, the owner in a sense. Okay. You know, so it's like they manipulated me in a sense to get what, what they wanted. Okay. By using somebody else. Okay. So they used that other person. It's like a proxy. So yeah. It, yeah. Okay. In, a, in a sense, a proxy. So, okay. cause the guy who was my direct supervisor, he couldn't do what I do. Right. You know, but he could put the, 
fire up under me, I guess. Right, he could bring the like he had enough like he had enough leadership skills and enough influence over you right. to motivate you to do that. Right. And sometimes you do have to do that. You yeah. have to put some or you can put people together and create a, a dynamic where they motivate each other. Yeah. You know right, what I mean? Right, 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 right. Yeah. So it's kinda of like using that dead uh uh what did you say? Um You cannot get turnip, blood from a turnip. Yeah, a turnip, but using that turnip to see in other ways that I can get blood from yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. That's you true. Know. Or you could cut it up and, you know, make a salad. That get rid of it. Yeah, cut <laughs> yes. it up, get rid of it, and utilize it. I'm saying I was trying to keep it together and everything. But no, you did good. You did good. Just one of those things. I didn't know where else I was going with that. So what's going on in the world right now? Uh, not enough to talk about. And, and I'll be honest with you. I'm saying there's some things that are going on that, for me, myself, Yeah. And I'm going to be transparent, okay? I know we're on the radio, and, and people may look at me crazy across the side, but I know they just got a, a Speaker of the House. Yes, Speaker of the week. House, yeah. And I will be honest, I don't know enough about the importance. I know that this guy is like the third from the presidency yeah, or something of that, that nature. Yeah, but, McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, but for the most part, a lot of this other stuff in the politics, I don't yeah. know. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to be real I'm, with you. I don't either. It's And I consider myself somebody that's pretty astute with this stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's gotten to a point now where there's all this infighting and stuff. And, of course, we're not going to get real specific because I just, I don't know. I just want to kind of stay away from politics for yeah. a minute. But as far as, like, I feel like we get thrown into situations where we're supposed to know things. Right. And we don't. You know, yeah. like when they were talking about how many times they had to vote on this and, you uh -huh. know, why this was so important and and everything. And I'm like, oh, my God, just do your job already. Just vote. Either you're voting for the guy or vote not voting. And it was like the stalemate. And I'm like, come on. And I heard people talking about it. Uh -huh. And part of me felt like like I would see people that I knew having a conversation. Right. And part of me was like, I don't know enough about. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know what? Yeah. I, I felt like this. Every once in a while, well, like, I know he's the third person from the top, but still, I feel like this. Sometimes people will get around me and they'll talk about football players or basketball mm. players, and I'm just like, oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, he, he who got tra he got traded to where? Oh, wow. Is he still playing? You know, and it's like yeah. I have no clue really yeah. what the conversation is about, yeah. who's the players or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. And I hate that I don't know enough about the politics right. to really know in, but, in, in those aspects of because I'm saying even like with voting, I think me and you talked about it earlier. Yeah. When the, the, the primary and the, the, the midterm elections come, you know, the one that has been promoting yeah. that whole, you know, six months or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to probably vote for my candidate in that area. Yeah. And then everybody else is like, I don't know them. But, I that's, like but that's what I, I mean. Know them. It's yeah. like you hear these conversations. And actually, if you guys can relate to this, give us a call. 1-888-349-DONNIE. Mm -hmm. That's They can do yeah. that. one 888 Three four nine D O N. Yeah, by the time this airs, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time we own number, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think tomorrow we could pay. Yeah, I could follow the dollar. Got some savings. Yeah, we we could. Yeah. One eight 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 three four nine D O N. Right. I. So yep. anyway, give us a call and tell us what you think. But basically, a lot of times. I'll go into the voting booth and I do try to read up a little something, something, but it's usually on the main candidates. But some of these secondary candidates, I'm like, I don't know this dude. So then you're voting for party or you're uh -huh. voting for, I have literally voted. I was like, well, that sounds like a cool name. I mean, like for real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. If it's a name that sounds it's like, like it sounds familiar or if it, or if the name sounds one way and not the other, I'm like, okay, well, I'm voting right. for that person. You know, if your name on there was Senator Itchy Boot, I would, I would probably just like, oh, well, that's interesting. Let yeah. me go ahead and yeah. check that. Yeah. You know, just whatever crazy name. And, and I Wait know a that's minute. Wrong. Did you just say Senator Itchy Boot? I'm just saying. It, 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 that just went right by you. It went right but by me. I'm just like, saying. We will, we will check the dot and just like, okay, well, yeah. you know, because we don't know enough. But anyway, that's something that I will make up my own personal yeah. challenge. But I think it a lot. The rest of this year, I will try to learn a little bit more about candidates, what they yeah. stand for, and really government. Because, yeah, let's learn more about government, guys. Because right, there's a lot of things that you know I should have learned in school that that 
that I didn't yeah. that it didn't get. But anyway. But, but any of these subjects, I feel like there's room for us to grow. And if we make a conscious effort as a country yes. to meet, be more knowledgeable on these things that we vote on and that we care about, I think it's important. Yep. But we're going to take a quick break. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. You're listening to Donnie Jones Live with me and... Uh, that guy, Marty McFly. And we're going to stop right there because we actually agreed, I think, twice. Yeah, so we gotta, no, yeah We're going to take a break. We'll be right, right back. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent to start to fall, who you gonna call? Tree it's looking kind of weak and it's looking kind of bleak for a tree specialist call. Tree service. Trees in your yard are just too tall. Who you gonna call? Tree hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous, on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am that guy, Marty Marty McFly. You know what? You just you just said something right before we was, well, right we was coming back in. And I'm curious, do, but I was in a conversation the other day yeah. with, with, with a, a guy, and I know this is a little bit off the script, but you know, just, just, you know, um, you're listening to Donnie Jones live with Donnie Jones and Marty McFly. And it's funny, we were just coming back and I tapped Donnie's leg to give her like a cue, you know, really 
that we're not on yet. Right. But she was like, well, you, well, you tapped me. And I, I didn't think anything offensive yeah. for it. But I was in a conversation the other day. Okay. Uh, actually, me and um, one of the engineers, and we were talking to this other guy. <laughs> and okay. the guy who didn't wasn't doing anything, you know, like aggressive to talk, you know, doing anything inappropriately. Right. But during this conversation, he'd have this tendency to touch us, yeah. you know, to put his hand, yeah. you know, on our shoulder or... No, yeah. It wasn't on a leg or anything like that, yeah. but you know, on the show, and and it made me like, wait, hold on, that don't, yeah. that ain't really what, yeah, that don't make me feel right. You know, yeah. it wasn't like a come on type thing, but right. it didn't make me feel right. Right, and I was wondering, do women deal with that same? Women kind are of... more touchy than men, just in general, uh -huh. but it depends on who it is, because there are some people that are too touchy, and you're like, mm. oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and I've had. I've had people in my life where I just was like, I didn't want to be around them because they did the whole, and I'm a touchy person, but they was just too much. I was like, uh, not just, yeah, you know, it, 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 it's funny because it's, it's, it's one of those unwritten rules yeah. that I don't think about until it's violated. Yeah. You know, I feel like, yeah. wait a minute, something's wrong. Like, or, like, like, or your personal space. My personal if space. Somebody's like, too it's much in your like, personal space. Whenever I get my hair cut, the barber only has so many seconds to touch my shoulder if he's, Pulling me around yeah. and it's like it's only the chair. Yeah, you know you don't you don't you don't you, you don't, don't put your hand your hands on my, on my neck or anything. Yeah. I had a guy like that and it was just like nah, but I, I couldn't go back to him. Yeah, you know because yeah. it just felt like you hold my neck a little bit too too, <laughs> too long. You know I, I don't you know I I'm well, there are with some the, people that don't understand personal space. But question, uh huh, did it make you feel uncomfortable yes. because he? Be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you touched me, and I feel uncomfortable. After that, you know, it doesn't mean what. what but finish your your, your full no, question. I was I saying if he if he maybe of a of a different. No, no, okay. no. Right, just in general. No, okay. I'm saying I don't. I straight, gay, any it alphabet. Matter. Somebody, it don't oh, matter. Okay, you know, if okay. you if you touch me too long, something don't. It doesn't feel right. It don't yeah. feel right. right. It's just You're like right. those those spidey senses come up. Like, wait, something wrong. But the this other thing. thing is that I've learned that people that touch you too much uh -huh. generally are not always the most honest people. Huh? Because in sales, we're taught that you just just a little light touch, it makes uh -huh. people trust you more. Just a light touch on the elbow or a light touch on the that, shoulder. It makes but when you, you do it, more. No, yeah, no. you gotta know who to do it with, right? Uh -huh. But if somebody overdoes that, it's like they're trying to over communicate, I'm honest and you can trust me, which then makes me not trust you, you know? Look, well, you know what, I'll say this. What's that? If I am with a female and she is over touchy. Yeah. You don't have sometimes, a well, you know, I really don't have a problem with it most of the time. Yeah. But now, sometimes it is overkill that right. it's more of a turnoff. Like, ah, yeah. keep the stop, you yeah. know. But if it's a man, I don't like any kind of right. touch. I'm saying but I, you're I also went, not uh, somebody that likes to be touched a I lot. Don't, but I don't think any man, well, masculine man, really likes to be touched by any other man. Period. You know, yeah, like when I go, exactly. I, I, I used to get my my suits altered and sometimes my pants, you know, altered, but. <laughs> I didn't like the 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 grooms. I mean, the yeah. guy that would you know, because he it seemed like he got too close to my inner circle space. You know, he wanted to tighten up my belt and see like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, wait you a touch minute. it too that's much the, there. That's the tailor. He has the to do that. No, but I don't like it. I, just, I, I don't feel comfortable with him doing that. Okay. You know, and it's right. like no. But I no. think there's a whole lot of societal, not a whole lot, but there's certain societal rules you just don't break like when people get too close to your inner space like your personal yeah. space like there's some people that just can't feel they're too close you know yeah you yeah. know or they ask like they don't know you and they ask for a piece of your food you know what i mean oh like, yeah that's, that's that's or people you're cool with but you're not quite that cool with like i've met people yeah. that i am super like i meet them immediately uh -huh. like I'm, i had some friends i just met and i was comfortable eating mm -hmm. around them and we shared stuff for whatever reason i was very comfortable with them they were just like just good people good energy good vibe mm -hmm. so i was comfortable with that but then there's been other people that i'm like no do we no you know, no we, no you know what i mean you know it's funny i had a girlfriend one time this is before i got married um that she felt that we were so cool that one morning i think she was over at my house and she forgot her toothbrush and was like where's your toothbrush i didn't need to brush my teeth 
You like we ain't that cool? No, we ain't. <laughs> no, we ain't. We ain't that cool. I got some listerine. You know, you can yeah. rinse it out, but yeah, but I don't. I don't. I don't I feel like that. that I just yeah. no, and and I don't care what point we gonna be that cool. No, just, when you're married, no. you're that cool. The heck, you say. Uh, yes, I know what's going in your mouth, and I ain't trying to use that uh, toothbrush after that. The, no, when no, you're married. No, 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 okay, well, I'm just saying for me, I you know that we've you been on your vacation husband before. Tooth, 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 tooth we together. have been on vacation. Jesus, I'm just saying, you're just okay. looking at me like I'm weird. Okay, well. we've been on vacation, and I forgot my toothbrush, and I used his, and. Oh my God! Whatever. You don't think about like what he ate that night or that you morning, know what? whatever. Yes, that guacamole or, you know, I'm just saying. You I'm gonna hurt. <laughs> Let's gonna say I'm a, I'm a, okay. 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 That's the other nasty. the other day we were talking, Ugh. and we were talking. Th this is generally the segment yeah. where we talk a little bit about entrepreneurship. <laughs> but we, we're off on a whole other thing right yeah, now. Goodness. But we were talking about our challenge, like challenging ourselves to do more and be more and have more. Right. And so. I put out put it out there that I wanted to, uh, to to put a challenge out there for us to make a certain amount of calls and a certain amount of sales per day. You know, yeah. and the calls were fine with. Uh -huh. But when I came, when I brought up the certain amount of sales per day, uh -huh. um, I put a number out there that you know one of the people was like, "Oh my God, that's a lot." You know, because on average I do such and such and such per day, and and I was telling you this story. Yeah. And you yeah. said, "Well, you know, well it's not a challenge if it's your average." And right. I was like, oh, my God, that yeah. is so true. Yeah, it's not a challenge if you're, yeah. if you're just trying to make your average. It's yeah. not a challenge. It's not it's a best. challenge. So a lot of times with our goals in life, for yeah. me, I, I decided to um, join this this challenge called 75 Hard, right? Okay. And it has been really hard for me. Well, that's because I'm doing stuff I haven't normally done right. before. Right, you like, to stretch yourself. Exactly. So I work out twice a day. I read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. I drink a gallon of water per day. Thank you for the water. Paramortal Studios. Yeah. Check them out. Um, let's see. I uh, I drink the water, da -da -da -da, 10 pages, and I take a picture of myself every day mm. and keep track of my progress. So okay. I think there's one other thing in there that I'm forgetting. But anyway, so I do those things and it's a challenge for me. Right. Because but I'm doing something outside my normal zone. or my average. But that's what, that's what you, you're supposed to do. I'm saying each year or each time you're, I, I would say each situation that you're in, you want to challenge yourself to do yeah. a little bit better than what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. You want to always, in a sense, increase your average. You know, okay. um, so with, with just personal health goals, I would say, yeah, that's a... Mm -hmm. You know, anything less than that is starting to become cop outs. Yes. Now, granted, I don't know if you start saying if I've only been doing five, um, I don't know, sales a day and you're like, well, let's go ahead and do 50 a day. You well, know, that might be a lot, but I don't think five be, to 10. Is, no, I don't. I don't, well, I I don't think, that's good. you know, but now granted, I don't do what right. you do. But at the same time, you got to have something to strive for. And if you make it too, sometimes too achievable, it's not really the challenge. It's not a challenge, but it's like you said. And I don't know why that stuck with me, but it's like if it's not a if it's it's not a challenge if it's your average. Right. So if you make yourself yourself a goal and you see that it's attainable, right? You know, easily, then that's that's right. not going to push you to go to that next level. Right. But I wanted to go back to seventy five hard because I do think there might be some people beginning of the year you want to you know push yourself. These are the rules: you pick a diet and follow it. No alcohol, no cheap meals. Drink a gallon of water a day. Complete two daily workouts. And one of them has to be outside, read 10 pages a day of a nonfiction book and take a progress photo. So, um, and the gentleman that came up with this name is Andy Frisella. He's a YouTuber, uh, Instagram uh, person, but he's actually more so a businessman. He's a successful businessman out of St. Louis, Missouri, um, but he's also big on, on those platforms. But, you know, yeah. So I just thought, yeah. How long have you been on that? That sounds like a cool one. I have been on it. And one of the things is if you miss a day or if you uh -huh. mess up, you got to start over. So I've oh. been, I'm have been i probably on day 66, but now I'm on day six because I've had to start over so many times. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fight through that because I, I like I told you the other, well, this week I started back going to the gym. Yeah. And, you know, I'm trying to do this, you know, setting your goals and, and, and trying to follow through with them. And yeah, today was the first day that it's like, I, I didn't achieve my goal, but yeah. I don't want to start back over. I just want to say I want to can continue. But I, I like that, especially with reading um, at least uh, 10, 10 pages. pages of a nonfiction book right. every day. Because, you know, they, they always talk about, you know, rejuvenating your mind, body and soul or yeah. whatever. 
Well, some of that stuff you got to really work on, you know, That's and right. some of us only think of one aspect of it versus, you know, keeping your mind sharp, yeah. reading, you know, yeah. um, exercising your body, yeah, you know, and now your soul is, you know, really centering yourself yeah. and just, well, you know, and, and that, that goes into a whole different thing. It does. But, um, you know what, before you even answer that, let us, let us go to a quick break. Yeah. And, um, we're going to pick this up on the other yeah, side. I want to pick this back up. Cause just a little something. And I know that you got a little something to say to the people. Oh, I, yeah. I thought I said it earlier, but All anyway, right. you're listening to Donnie Jones live. I am Marty McFly with the beautiful Donnie Jones and we'll be right back. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent to start to fall, who you gon' call? Dollar Tree Service! If it's looking kind of weak and it's looking kind of bleak, go a tree specialist call. Dollar Tree Service! If the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gon' call? Dollar Tree Service! Hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days, or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta Airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book from Failure to Fabulous on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. We are back. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am that guy, Marty McFly. Woo, I'm if y'all can it. be behind scenes. I'm behind enjoying the scenes. It. Yes, 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 you yes. are. I'm going to leave the door open. Close that door. Close that door. 
Look, look, if y'all got a comment about her singing, call us at 1-888-349-DONNIE. That's 1-888-349-D-O-N-I or 3 Six six four. Yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always wanted to be a singer. I can believe it. Yeah, that doesn't mean I got the talent. <laughs> it does not mean you have the talent. So I'm gonna become really good at playing piano and the guitar. No. And then in ten years, I'm gonna be in a band. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be able. To, I'm gonna play on the weekends. No, seriously, I'm gonna play on the weekends. And uh-huh. my goal is to be able to just play and make people smile. Well, you know what? Be, I, that's I, what I want to do. I will Get say in a this. band and just jam. I will say this. I believe that if you played anywhere, you would make some. People People smile. That's all I want to do is just just saying it. You know what? What? Well, I'm just being truthful. The shade in this room. (laughs) I was telling Marty while we were on break that sometimes he gives a compliment and I have to think twice about it. I'm like, wait a minute. Was that a compliment or were you trying to be funny? Well, well, that one, I'm I'm just saying I I, uh, appreciate your enthusiasm, you know, wanting to do music and appreciate music. But sometimes it's you. Better just to sit and listen to it. I don't know yeah. about that. Just, I, just I listen sitting. to you play, and it's just that, yeah, it touches yeah. my spirit. It, it, I'm some, a like, lot sometimes of, I like hearing you years. play more than I hear you talk. I can believe that. <laughs> I can I can believe that. I can believe that. But anyway, Donnie, you know we've been talking about uh, closing the door. Yes, you closing know. the door. But there was something you wanted me to finish up on or us oh, to finish up sure. on from what the last that? segment. Yeah, what That's what I'm that? asking you. I don't know what it was. I don't either. Okay, how are you gonna bring it up and not know what it was? You just wanted to say something like, oh, you, it was something you wanted to bring up, but I don't know what it was. But what you want to talk I about? I love my job. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, it probably was something we were talking about. But, you know, we most of the, the show we've been talking about, you know, things about closing doors, yeah. you know, and accepting reality and things of that nature. Um, you know, actually, this is what that, now it kind of come to my mind about what I wanted to say on this segment because this is supposed to be like the this is supposed to have been the um, um, inspirational yeah. segment of the day. And you know, I was going to go about closing the door. You can leave the door. No, okay. close that one all okay. all the way. Just close it all the way. Um, okay. But you know, it's interesting that I wanted to say this today. What's that? You compensate people. All the time because you're a business owner. Right. You know, and you give them their payday because they've yes. worked so hard throughout the week or the month or Don's the tree service. <laughs> or the year. And you finally, you know, at a certain point you give them a payday. Yeah. You know, and they get that. I am curious if people actually notice their payday in life. Mm. You know, when you actually do the due diligence in work. Yeah. You put in the phone calls. Yes. You put in the sweat equity, the long nights, and you know, just the all of the what it takes to be successful, yeah. when you reach that success or when you started getting your payday, do you even recognize it? Mm. You know, yeah. it's kind of like when when a lot of us pray to God and we ask God for a certain kind of blessing. Yeah. And we're still diligent in working for it because, you know, um, faith without works is dead. That's right. But you're working and keeping the faith. Do you actually notice when you're blessed? Mm. When that blessing or that request is already is being answered, and at the same time, do you realize that when you do the opposite, when you are negative, when you're not getting about the bed, yeah. when you're not making those phone calls, and when you pretty much get your payday, yeah. do you recognize that this is a part of your own doing also? Mm. You know, it's um a thing where <clears throat> I want people to kind of understand this hour, this this segment that. There's always a payday coming. Yeah. But what are you working on right now? Yeah. What are you setting in motion? What are you setting for the in motion? To happen? Right. Yeah. To get your payday in motion. I love and, that. You know, and when you get it, mm. do you recognize it? That's right. You know that I was talking about the the my my senior young lady, my senior lady that might be getting a boyfriend or whatever. I hope friend. she get a boyfriend, y'all. Right. I With, hope she well, get a boyfriend. She was telling me the other day that she had been praying and asking for some help. You yeah. know, around her house and, you know, yeah. around her community, just help to do the little things. Yeah. And um, she was kind of complaining about, you know, she has this guy that comes around that he helps and does all these other little things. And she yeah, was kind of telling him, too, you know, I needed some help. I need some help yeah. to come around. Yeah. And he's like, well, I'm always here. Yeah. You know, and it's one of those things where you're asking for something that you've already gotten. You better preach. And sometimes you don't recognize your blessing. That's right. right And it's right there in front of you. Right. So that's that's what I wanted to really say or leave the day is, in a sense, 
um, recognize your payday. That's right. You know, your blessed payday. That's right. So then after that, then not just say close the door on the other stuff. I like that. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, hey, I'm trying to work it. Awesome. Trying to work it. Just a little. That was physical. so good. Yes. That was so so good. You know what it makes me think about? Um, I we've talked about the fact that I've dealt with some uh, more challenging emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because there is depression that runs in my family, and sometimes I can feel myself going in the wrong direction to where my feelings will feel a little low or I'm getting a little down uh -huh. and stuff. And of course I try to do my whole, you know, meditation or I'll watch a positive video or sometimes I'll even call you. Right. right. Uh -huh. Well, I was talking to my daughter and I was telling her, you know, well, we got to get this truck taken care of and then we got to get these jobs. And then, you know, I got these calls to make, but then it's like six o'clock and I want to spend time with you and I want to go cook and da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And she's like, mommy, isn't this the stuff you prayed for? Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Oh see. Yeah, that's interesting. When that when that comes right back yeah. in yeah. Cause the truck that I mean, granted, you you think, okay, I want trucks and equipment for my industry, you know, right. you love trucks and equipment and stuff. Well, having trucks and equipment means that sometimes stuff needs to be fixed. Yeah, it's a part of the and business. It's an amazing piece of machinery. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I prayed for I prayed for this piece of equipment, got the piece of equipment, yeah. and because I have to do some maintenance on it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. which is regular stuff, but it shuts it down for a couple of days. I'm sitting here all complaining and stuff, you right. know. But I, this is what you asked for. Exactly, I asked. I got all these calls to make because we have thousands of people in our database, uh -huh. and I feel like I'm behind on catching up with these calls. I asked for With this. That. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to be home by six. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. times I'm not. I'm not till till seven. But it's getting. It was getting close to six o'clock, and I'm o'clock. But I'm thinking about. I want to be able to make dinner because it helps me lose weight. Uh -huh. Guess what? I'm standing in my home, which I live in a beautiful home. Yes. With my daughter standing there. Mm -hmm. You know. Getting ready to make dinner, but frustrated because I'm mentally distracted. I'm like, well, I wanted to make dinner. Well, I'm standing there getting ready to make dinner. Right. And it's like sometimes from the mouths of babes, you mm -hmm. gotta go. Wait a minute, hold on. You know, I'm 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 blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored. So I don't know if that speaks to somebody out there. I know usually that's pastors. Oh no, uh, no, 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 no. This is the ministry. I don't know who out there that needs long to hear as this. it touches you wherever <laughs> you are at. Yeah. You know that's the yeah. work of God. Yeah. So, but no, um, but it, it it is interesting, you know, that we have to make sure that we notice. The blessing, yeah. you know, notice that where we're at, you know, um, and we're we're so f trained to focus on what we don't have, yeah. trained on the frustration. But it's like, wait, 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 take a pause. Yeah, God is good. That's right. You know, when I look and, around me, everything is good. I'm doing what I want to do, or I'm on that 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 verge of doing what I want to do, yeah. and I'm happy. And that's why people got to come visit you at St. Mark Luther and tell them how to get oh. in contact with you and how to come yeah, see. Yeah, just 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 come on over to. Well, I didn't even call it like that. Um, to beautiful East Point, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. We're at um, 4137 Washington Road. Um, actually, the first exit off of 285, yeah, exit one. that's right. But um, yeah, come check us out. Services are at 11 a.m. Yeah. And, um, and he I think starts on time, y'all. I, I really do. And um, <laughs> first, first, first communion drink is free. It's on me. Yeah. Yep. You silly. What? You know, they do that at the bars and everything, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, do what show starts at five, I mean doors open at eight, yeah. show starts at five. Well yeah. I'm doing the same thing, you know. Uh a doors open at ten thirty, show starts at eleven. Yeah. You know, one drink first drink is on me. Yeah. yeah well, actually it was on Jesus. But he, yeah. You can tell he'd been in the club scene hey, before. <laughs> so, you know how it is. No, I have done a lot of commercial. No, yeah. actually I did. My first I ain't tried to be a pastor all my life. I'm saying when yeah. I when I got to well, Atlanta. We know that. So. And I was in uh, Morris Brown and, and working at a radio station, they kept me in the club and Yeah. Okay, he was in the club scene. I learned a lot. Well, you go to church with him, but if you need your cut, trees cut, you come uh -huh. to me. And uh, once again, my name is Donnie, and I own a company, Don's Tree Service. So if you are in the Atlanta area, yes. call me at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-8733. And tell them you heard us on the radio or on YouTube or on wherever you hear us. And go check us out on YouTube, Donnie like Jones. Us. Yeah, like us and share. 
and yes, subscribe. Yes, all That's of that. The biggest thing we want you to subscribe to Donnie Jones Live on YouTube. So yeah, check us out. Yep, you you know? know what? And for those that are watching us on TV, we're gonna start putting more of our numbers up there yeah. on on like the Don's Tree Service number. And actually, yeah. if you want to some video production work, you can uh, contact me or actually Paramoto yes. Studios where we are broadcasting from. We That's all in right. all in the family. So That's right. But um, other than that, any. Any last minute words, Miss Donnie? As well, we you know what? Part for the weekend. Well, that's good. We can um, leave it at that. Um, but for me, I would just say, you know, make sure that you close the door. Yeah. You know, you can't get blood from a turnip. You know, and uh, if your challenge is just meeting your average, then it's not really a challenge. Ooh, nice you know? recap. So, yes. So we could pretty much end on that. The only thing I was going to oh, say okay. before we <laughs> ended on that, that was cute how you did that, was be aware of the blessings. Oh, yeah. You know, see, I thought you thought yeah. I was going to say something funny. No, uh, uh, be aware of, of your payday, like Marty yeah. was saying. And your payday is a good thing. But mm -hmm. also, if you've put out some challenging stuff out there, and you're going through some stuff. Think about think about how you have something to do with what you're going through right now. But be blessed. Right. We're gonna and uh, while we as we close, if you want to make a donation to Donnie for toothbrushes, you can also um, <laughs> just call us or <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm gonna work on it. That's my late Christmas yeah, that's gift gonna to be, you. Okay, a toothbrush. Anyway, much anyway. love, love y'all. We will see y'all next week. Yeah, yeah. Donnie Jones live. Donnie Jones live. Donnie Jones live. Donnie Jones live.